Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. A Vander Holyfield so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. Mike Tyson's got his eye on the prize. He has complete focus on his ring walk here. room let's have a good clean fight touch them up well, they are underway scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two nice strike after catching one by a Vander Holyfield Teddy, a prime Mike Tyson here has so many KO1s sprinkled across his record. Do you expect those kind of fireworks early on here? Yeah, for a couple of reasons. He understands the history. He's a history student. He likes the legacy. He wants to be like Jack Dempsey, all those fighters of the past where he's ferocious. And also, he wants to send a signal to future opponents that you should not get in the ring with him. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Holyfield's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? Joe, there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. Off the target by Mike Tyson. Oh, what an exchange! That's a nice left hand from Mike Tyson. Rock 'em, sock 'em, robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Iron Mike with an iron right. Right hand downstairs. Let's go, you gotta see that. End of the round here, and you can see the fans really enjoying themselves tonight. You know, Teddy, I think maybe more so than any other sport, boxing fans are not just passionate like in our sports, but they are smart and savvy. They know the game inside and out. Well, they follow the contestants. They do understand the parameters of the game. And you know what? They come here and they kind of demand from those fighters the performance that they expect from them. They expect the guy to box. You hear them every once in a while saying, hey, come on, you know, let's get that jab working. They act like coaches sometimes. Here we go. Round two is underway. That is a strong uppercut there. Took a shot. Now he gives the left. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Oh. He takes 
takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Back to the body. Good block there by Evander Holyfield. That's as good as it gets right there. A crushing uppercut by Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed Watch with some hunt. success. Halfway through round number two. Nice job doubling up the jab by Mike Tyson. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Back to basics here, as you can see the jab becoming a key instrument for him. Boxing 101. You have an opponent walking in, you want to stay on the outside, use that jab. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Scored well up top. Tyson's jab lands well. Well put together combination by Evander Holyfield. the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Get in there. Get in there, Jack. Back to the fight. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. And we come to the end of the round, and you know his trainers got to love that because they stress, hey, go out there and be smart with what you're doing. He was very smart about when to throw and how to land it. And that's the key in the sweet science, placing your punches, as you said, making them count. You're looking good, looking good. And he's tired, look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? You don't need that, no. Throw that away. And round number three is underway. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Holyfield's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing, and I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab go because he might get counted with one of those lightning right hands. Mike Tyson, good use of the jab. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Right there, Mike Tyson was able to score well with the hook. Hook right on the belt line. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Evander Holyfield. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Focus, focus. Doubling up the jab by Mike Tyson. A well-placed left hand up top. Good return fire that time. Look at me. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep... You gotta let your hands go, champ. You hear me? You have to. You have to be busy out there. This guy's beating you. Now, if you throw three or four punches in a row, you can turn this thing around. But you have to.
Well, if anything has been learned from the first three rounds is that sometimes just being the busier fighter will do well for you. And that's the case right now for him as he's up two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, not always landing a lot. You put it very well, Joe. Not always landing a lot. But keeping his opponent defensive and keeping him from doing what he wants to do. Holy Fields has success so far just based on his pure hand and foot speed. But there is some concern. Yeah, you know, you got a guy with a real fast car. He needs a racetrack. He needs the right place to use that speed to kind of run with it a little bit. Right now, his opponent needs to change that landscape. Don't give him that racetrack. Step out of range a little bit and leave him there. Let him shadow box. But don't stay in a position where it can be effective. Jab right hand. A little head hunting with the right. Combo lands to the head. One right back in return. Nice work by Evander Holyfield. You got this one. Move your head. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Tyson's inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costing him. He continues to pull straight back, and he's still in the path of the punch. Tyson's commitment to the cause of being the aggressor really had him in front in that last round. Look at his opponent. to see three and four punches at a time now. This fight is too damn close for us to be lazy with our punches, okay? You understand what I'm saying? I want the combinations. You land in one shot, but I need to see three, four punches now, all right? This fight is too fucking close for you to be lazy with our punches. You understand? Hey, listen. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. Keep One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Work the body. Work the body, kid. That's right. Body shots. Body shots. Body shots. Body shots. Tyson's oh, absorbing a left hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you could go after him, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. It appears that Mike Tyson has weathered that storm. Yeah, you're right, Joe, he has. But my question is, what about the damage that the storm did? Does that start to show itself? In other words, does Tyson get a little tentative now? Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Evander Holyfield. Did you see that? Evander Holyfield's on the canvas and her. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Nice work, the left hand to the head.
one of those fights were at the halfway point. I wouldn't even venture a guess as to what the scorecard should look like. And I don't know that it even matters. All I know is this. Both guys have brought their A games. Both guys have come here to fight tonight. What you know is that it's become a real Relax. war of wills. Relax. Two okay. stubborn okay. guys, and they're going to continue to argue right to Don't the end. Start of a new round, and it seems like a whole new man. Hard to believe that this is the fighter that was just knocked down in the last round. Well, he's got some of those great recovery skills, kind of like Arturo Gatti used to always have. You know, he was a guy that he could be batted, he could look like he was barely hanging on, and then all of a sudden, the next round, he looked good to go. Solid. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Vander Holyfield's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Goes up top with a right hand. Able to dismiss that body shot. Vander Holyfield's bang to the noggin. Come on, stay away from those. Come on. He just missed that shot up top. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Mike Tyson blocking that punch. <laughs> Holyfield's punch is far off the target. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back. Oh, that's got to hurt. That was a big shot that floored him. And it's a big shot that made him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Holyfield's going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the rope, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Okay, now. Okay, you're good. You're good. Deep breath now. Are you leaving yourself open now? You're throwing your punches wide, so keep tight. Keep tight. Feel good? Come on. You gotta give me one more round, all right? Just give me one. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Evander Holyfield stunned by that shot. There it is! How is he gonna survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's gonna have to find a way. over. Mike Tyson's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Rack up another career knockout victory for Iron Mike Tyson.
For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We thank you for being with us ringside.